Hello and welcome, I'm Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our Rajput Right campaign in Europe Universe House 4. So the Ottomans are down to almost low enthusiasm. And length of war is almost over, so we've nearly wrapped that whole thing up. And he's continuing to march around... Oh shoot, he actually caught an army. Damn it! Urgh. That is frustrating. Roll poorly and allow me to retreat, please. Crap. Well, that is really unfortunate. No, we're gonna get squished. It's okay. I mean, it's not ideal, obviously, but... I've squished my fair share of armies as well. Both sides are squishing. We've had 51 battles, we have positive 11 more squares. I'm gonna squish some of his armies right now, so... Not actually that worried about it, but we need Laura to stand back. That does mean that I've got space, probably. Yeah, I could train at least probably two more. All right, I'm excited for the squish. Leaderless armies in hostile territory that he can't appoint leaders in. Can we kill that, please? You guys really need to just... get into the mountains. That 70-ish thousand men is hiding somewhere in there. Alright, there's absolutely no way that he can escape from this, so we're gonna go bam, bam, and then down to that one. That is mountains, but... This should just be a straight-up squish. We won a battle against infantry. Good. Yeah. Squish. Squish it. Squish it. Smash it. Destroy it. Dead. You've been squished, Ottoman. Alright, so we'll go back into the mountains. Mountains and rivers. Um, our best leader is actually... This army. Good. Okay. Our second best leader is this guy, and he's not appointed. Ninth, seventh. Okay, well, if you want to engage me in the mountains, I'll, I'll let you do that. Have we squished yet? Squish it. Nice. Next. Okay, so we've got the defensive mountain and like 50,000 troops to match his, even though it's flatlands. So if he does come engage it, it's not going to go well for him. This is Highlands. Negative one penalty. I think we want these armies to be balanced. He's ignoring the war goal, which is kind of silly. And they have a regency. How wonderful. Squish. They've entered into a royal marriage with Kara, even though I had them annul treaties. Hmm. I suppose that they're still allowed to do that. Now he's going for this, so we want to bring you guys down in case we want to hop over the ocean. The the Gulf of Aden or something. Not going to make the same mistake I made earlier where I allow them to get caught and get squished. Squish! Down that way you go. We're forming up those extra 40,000 troops. He has no leader here now. Interesting. I would gladly take 50 on 32 in the Highlands. And he cannot appoint a leader because he's in, he's in enemy territory right now. I'm surprised that he unappointed his leader. How did he even... He must have died. That actually may have been his general. May have been his, his uh, character when he had the Regency Council. 26th, 23rd. 1, 2, 3. 27th. Alright, well, it's fine. It's one day. Where are you going, Mr. Ottoman? Okay, so for war exhaustion, uh, you know what? I'm going to buy it down one more. We do have um, Defender of the Faith helping us out. 
offsetting the attrition and stuff, but 14% chance that he could take that, so let's go smash him. Leaderless army, minus one penalty. Still, it's effectively like a 1-1 general against a leaderless army. It's, it's very strong. Kill. Squish! Poland will cede land to Sweden. Muscovy will cede land to Sweden. Poland will end their overlordship over Moldavia. They will release the Teutonic Order and Transylvania, and they will pay ducats. I feel like Sweden paid 200 diplo points, and they didn't even get very much. Meanwhile, Muscovy is totally wrecked by Great Britain. What's going on in the world? I don't know. We're busy with this war. So, great um, Yato man. They only have 70,000 troops right now. They are getting really wrecked. Lots of stack wipes. I don't think they have the money to, uh, to train more men. Still, my armies need, uh, need time to recover. Oh, there's an army I want to squish. We'll go with about, about a 30 stack or so. Um, I am going to shift consolidate. Something like that. It's a dangerous habit to be in, but um, I'm going to do it. Nice. Another easy squish. Squish! I keep on saying that, don't I? I've been saying it a lot. We've lost a bunch of money. We're making a profit right now, but we do have war taxes active. Um, a bunch of people are improving relations with us. How nice. Probably because it's January and they aren't capped out. Squish it. Squish it. Thank you. Okay, hey. Golden Horde, it's hopeless. Get out of this war. I don't believe there's anything I want from you. I, mean, I have no war score with you, so I can't demand anything. If I wanted to, I could maybe go occupy your capital and then make you annul your treaties, but I, I just want you out of the war. I want to dishearten the Ottomans. I want to get rid of their friends. Uzbek. Currently at war with Korchin. Uzbek's enthusiasm is pretty high. Ottomans are at negative 7. So now is the time where if we can just manage to finally smash the remainder of his army. Just kill that last couple stacks. I could actually carpet siege. And that would be where Ottomans get broken. I know there's another army out there somewhere. Who's that 40 stack? Saw it earlier. Development of veneering. Very well. We have a new advisor. He just... Okay. Okay, we lost our guy. That was our theologian. We had him for a long time. I want to just keep paying, paying the money. I want as many Monarch points as possible. I want to catch up on all tech. I'm caught up on military, which is amazing. This army is coming for the 30 stack, for sure. So, this is the army that we got to beat. The 6-4. This is it, right here. I mean, he's got 23,000 infantry in there. Of his 30, 31. If I can beat that army, then I can spread out and uh, carpet siege. All right, we're going to break the siege because we need a leader. You 
He's turned around. Nope. Mamlux, you haven't really done much for me this war. Just so you know. I think, since I know that that's like his main army, I do think I can start to spread out. I'm going to risk it. Just pay attention to this army. Keep it distracted. Or just like, you know, keep it away from the northern part up here. And I can spread out and prevent it from actually training any more men, and then we just don't have to worry about more troops. Maybe a bit preemptive. I have a tendency to preemptively carpet siege. Gotta be careful of that. We have any leaders that are in a position where I can actually teleport them. I think we're gonna have to take at least one of them. Preferably the best one and keep him available. Let's have him retreat to friendly territory so I can unappoint him. You better notice that I'm carpet sieging you. If you don't, I'm gonna I'm gonna wreck your world. He'll be there on the second. Good. So on the second, I can unappoint the leader, put him down here, use him to squish this. This 40 is going to come up through here. There is a choke in grain. I don't want to go smaller than five stacks. Alright, so that leader is available. You come here. I think he's going to come into Basra. He's, he's trying to come up for... He sees the carpet siege, you know, and he wants all that stuff. It'll be pretty obvious if he tries to march past it instead of going for this army. Alright, we are in controlled territory, so... Um, that leader would definitely be better suited here. Alright, well it all might fall apart here if this battle goes well for him. On the 20, 25th, I'll need to appoint that general. But if I let this happen, he won't be appointable. Interesting that I can't unappoint the general from here. This is Naryan Das, right? The 3-3. Three, three. Can't unappoint him, but I can do this. So I can assign him while he's in hostile territory as long as I'm assigning him to another... Like, that doesn't make sense. Okay. I think we want to fight this guy. I think that 80,000 men can beat 443. And in the meantime, this is going on, so that's good. This war has taken a long time. A lot of videos. It's like six video war. And it's been uh, multiple years of, of combat. We are going to engage him there. So let's go reinforce. He's got a better leader. But we have a significant morale advantage. And we've got nearby reinforcements. Looks like we don't even need the reinforcements. Wow. Orissa will be forced to give Spain... What the hell are you doing fighting Spain? You're mine. Don't tell me you just became a protector or some nonsense, did you? Good. 
Alright, what I'm gonna do, this is, okay, I'm actually going to wait until he's almost dead. I want to get him down to, like, no morale at all. And now we're going to retreat. We're going to lose this fight. So that I can squish it. You will arrive on the 9th. So on the 9th. Unappoint the leader, teleport him over here. Now we're going to squish this army. Squish. Squish it. Squish. Come on. You didn't squish. Damn. Well, sometimes that can work. too bad. Well, in that case, now we just chase it and we uh, we don't let him recover. He can't train. Funge nationalists in the Mamluks. Okay. Pretty sure we already integrated that country. You should just be on my side, people. So wherever his army goes, we go. Tenth, ninth. Okay, he's going north. Ming has collapsed again. Cardell has thrown off the shackles. All right, these guys I think are gonna swarm down in this way. So if I just wait until the 12th, we can probably squish that guy. You are still shattering to Sinai. You're probably going to, like, Fayum. Most likely. We're going to need to help out the Mamluks down there. Alright, well, the war is finally won. It took a long time, a lot of effort, but definitely there's no coming back from this. They've got 73,000 troops, but... We got a massive carpet siege in place, and we're about to massively carpet siege this if I can squish this army. I'm kind of sad that it didn't work. In intentionally losing that fight so that I'd have an opportunity to squish it. Okay, so he's got. I don't think he actually has that much morale. He might, but um, we're gonna take this fight because the last time we did nearly equal fight, we went it went pretty well. Okay, we're gonna catch him now. We're in flat terrain. We still have a tech, uh, tech, uh, tech advantage. He is fast. So we'll just spread out. Alright, morale advantage, go. Crush him. Kill with morale. I mean, kill troops too, but, you know, kill the morale. Come on, it's way too close. Why are we losing? Cannons versus cannons. <laughs> Alright. Well, we lost slightly less than he did, but... That could have gone a lot better. Okay, so here's the other... So he's managed to put together a 32 stack. That's unfortunate. He's forced marching into Karaman. I'm gonna have to break some of these sieges. Well, it's it's really sad because I wanted to build a carpet siege, but if he's gonna put up resistance, we can't carpet siege. I'm not gonna give up breached walls though. Did you actually manage to sneak out of there again? You and your damn forced marching, man.
Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to take a break here, um, but I do think that um, if I can put down these last two armies that are kind of moving around a bit, then we'll be in a good spot. So, all right. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you soon.